Hi, Sneaky Linux back, and tonight we're looking at Simplicity Linux, which is based on Puppy 412, and it looks really, really good. It's ongoing work, but this is probably the first real release of it. It looks really good. So, here's your desktop Trash, Spotify, Firefox, Skype, Antivirus, and My Docs. Usual file system, same as Puppy, of course. Out we come from there. You get Edit. For your media player, it's Jigzine. We'll open him up, make sure he works. As you know, it does quite a bit of streaming. So what I'll do, I'll go down and look for something to stream. Make sure that works OK. So we'll go down a bit further, I think. There we go. Top 40. We'll try Radio 1. It thinks about it. Starts buffering. And I've got music in the background. You haven't. But that works, so that's cool. So we'll come out of that, and we'll try the next one on the line. Now for chat, I've actually installed Pigeon. There's a different one that comes installed as standard, but I'm not particularly like that one, so we'll go with Pigeon for me. Next along the line, we have OpenOffice. This is one of the reasons why it's quite a large download, because there's quite a lot of OpenOffice here. But if you like OpenOffice, and don't like uh, Abbey Word, this is the one for you, and it saves you actually downloaded the SFS files to do it yourself. And that's 2.2, .2, so that should save to quite a few formats. And yes, it does. It saves to Word, which is the main one. Why people still use Starwriter, I'll never know. But hey, that ain't my problem. We'll come out of there. Little red button. And we'll go to Calc. And of course, this is going to be OpenOffice Calc, which is really, really full featured anyway. I mean, the guy's actually designed this to be quite a full-featured operating system. He's working on quite a few things at the moment. I'd email chat with him. He's going to do four versions of this. One which will be a Windows Refugee version, which will make it easier to migrate from Windows over to Simplicity Linux. Now, that I would like to see how he's going to work that one. I'll wait with anticipation. Anyway, that was Calc and that was the Paint program. You've got your drive icon, my bugbear of all puppies. Usual puppy setup. Nothing's changed there at all. All still nice and easy. Install, help, log out. And that's what you get when you click on there. We're going to cancel that. Now, we're going to open up the Firefox. Google is your start page. And I've bookmarked the home page for Simplicity Linux. And they were going to do all this. So it's going to run on older hardware, run quickly, easy to use, a three-month release cycle. And now I did bring this up, and he says, not a problem, as he's an addict. So, there we go, from the horse's mouth. That's cool. You can download a netbook edition or a desktop edition as well. I've not tried the netbook one, but I will do in the future. Time is money, as they say. If you click on the Apple, you get the usual puppy menu. OK, nothing changed there. There's Gparted, just to show you what I've installed it on. It's a little 2.5 gig drive, and it's half a gig of, of swap, and one and a half for my main folder. And as you can see down there, we've got quite a few things, including Gimpy, which I installed, as I like to use Gimp. Obviously, I've installed them for the simple reason I like to use them. And if there was on the ISO, it'd make it really, really big and you'd get bored downloading it. So I think it's a good idea that he's left some things out for you to do yourself, really. That's not too bad. I've been using it for a few days and I've not killed it yet. So it's quite stable. And as you know, some puppies weren't that stable, but this one's quite good. So, if we go down to the other browse button, we don't get Firefox we get SeaMonkey, which goes to the puppy page. I don't mind SeaMonkey, don't get me wrong. But apparently in the future versions, we're going to get Opera. Which would be nice to see. I don't mind Opera. Stuff like that, you know. Don't like the singing bit, but Opera's OK. We'll go to the Opera page anyway. Usual SeaMonkey alert, that does get me, that one. And we'll go to that page. As you see it's quite fast. And now if you can get Opera to run that also solves the email section as well. 
because it's an all-in-one, as you know. So that'd be another one nice to see, especially if it's a really new version, not one of the older ones. So again, I wait with bated breath. Now, FXProt is your antivirus. Now, do remember, you do run as root in Puppy, but basically you can scan any directories and files that you want. Nice and easy if you've got an old drive from Windows and you want to scan it before you do anything. This version does contain the things for configure all variants, so it can spot them straight away. That's another good thing. We'll go back up to here. And we're going to go to the Puppy Package Manager. <coughs> it's going to be the same as Puppy, but I'm just going to show you because he's installed quite a few extras on here as standard. So there we are. If we look in the bottom tray here, you can see all the stuff he's put in. Now, ATMM is the one that he used for his uh, chat client. So I've clicked on it as so I'm going to remove it. Now, this is all you do if you want to remove a package in Puppy. Just click on it once and it will remove it. And after a little while, all depending on your system, it will come up and say, do you really want to remove it? Well, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it there because I'm still testing it. But that's cool. But as you can see, the caps is on there already. And lots and lots of bits and bobs are on here, as you can see. But if you're Flash, Gimp that I put on, digital camera utilities, couldn't print, which goes with your printers, etc, etc. Oh, and the uh, Hewlett Packard printer set, which if you're going to use a HP printer, you got to have, really. So that's all hunky-dory. My God, I used that word again. But hey, I don't care. Now, I hope he gets on really well with this, because he's got quite a lot in the pipeline, and he wants to do well, so I wait with bated breath for the next one, really. So, we'll see how it goes. Well done. I'll see if I can break it in the next week. Sneaky Linux out. Again, even. See you later. <laughs>